I'm Adam from Army Painter, and today we're going to be taking a look at what's in the box of the Dungeons & Dragons Nozzle's Marvelous Pigments Monster Paint Set. Nothing brings the Dungeons & Dragons universe to life quite like the creatures that inhabit it, and playing with painted models, whether it's your mighty heroes or the foul monsters that you encounter along the way, really makes the adventure come to life right before your eyes. So with that said, let's get right to it. Let's check out what's in the box of the Monster Paint Set. First things first, the Monster Paint Set truly is a Monster Paint Set. There are 36 war paints in here, including 29 acrylics, 3 washes, 3 metallics, and 1 effects paint, and of course, the exclusive Albert miniature. We've already covered the Adventurer set, which is a great beginner set because it has all of the primary colors that you would ever need, but if you want more colors, the Monster Paint set truly is an expansion set with colors that cover all of the creatures in the Dungeons & Dragons universe. This is really exciting. In collaboration with Gale Force 9 and the Army Painter, the Nozzle's Marvelous Pigments series are the official paints for Dungeons & Dragons. The Monster Paint Set is a great expansion, like I said. It covers all of the basic colors because it contains a comprehensive palette for all things evil, nasty, and chaotic. Now, as I'm unpacking the box here, you'll see that we have different blisters with several paints inside. Just gonna set these aside here before we take a deep look. Quite a lot of paints here. 12 paints in one blister, 12 in the other, and then you'll have 12 in here. These are doubled up on this side. Ex of course, we have the exclusive Albert miniature. This is fantastic. We'll get to him in a minute. What I find so cool about this set is that our paint designer actually spent months pouring through the Monster Manual to pick and pull colors from the Army Painter War Paints lineup that perfectly match the Dungeons & Dragons universe. While most of the paints that we have here can be found in the Army Painter War Paints line, we actually created four unique colors that you can only get in this box set. We'll get to those in a minute, but let's take a look at the colors that we have inside. Obviously with the red caps, they're easy to identify. We have three different washes, a brown wash, a shadow wash, and a flesh wash. These are perfect for adding depth and realism to all of your miniatures after you've got your base coats down. And then all of the black cap bottles are our metallics. We have a dwarven bronze, a silver dragon, and a Kirin gold. Now there are tons of great paints in here. One of my favorites is Rust Monster. This is a great orange color. It's perfect for highlighting red. There's also one effects paint in the lineup. It's Glistening Blood. Now this is a glossy red that you apply after you're finished painting the model to add a really realistic blood effect. You can add it to a sword or an ax to make somebody look like they've just finished slaying a dragon or a troll. As we mentioned, this is a total expansion set. So there's all different colors in here, ranging from Cambian Crimson to Beholder Purple. Frost Blue, Feywild Emerald is a really great color. This is a great dark Kelly green. You virtually have every color that you would ever need to paint your models. Let's take a look at the four unique colors that we conjured up using Nozel's Marvelous Wizardry. The first in the lineup is Purple Worm. This is a great purple. Uh, I actually used this to highlight Minsk's tattoo in the Minsk painting tutorial for the final highlights. A great purple color, almost like a lavender. It's a beautiful, beautiful purple. Goblin Skin is another good one. This is a yellowy brown. I could see this painting on the, the belly of a goblin or even a stone troll or a frost troll to give that nice fleshy, leather fleshy effect. Similarly, Utyug Brown is a nice fleshy tone, a great light leathery tone that we used in the Owlbear painting tutorial, which you can find on YouTube as the base color for all of the fleshy parts around his hand and his skin. Now onto what is probably my favorite color in the lineup, Grung Green. This is a nice, almost neon seafoam green, almost like a mint chocolate chip ice cream. This is a beautiful color, one that I've not seen in other ranges. This is something truly unique that you can only find in the box set. That's it for the four unique colors. Something that I think is great to know is that other than those four colors, all of the paints in the Dungeons & Dragons monster set have a matching equivalent from the broader Army Painter War Paints range. So if you look here at Albert Brown, it has a little note on the side that says it matches dirt splatter from the Army Painter range of War Paints. So if you happen to be painting a bunch of Albears and you run out of Albert Brown, just go pick up some dirt splatter off the rack like you see behind me from your friendly local gaming store. And speaking of Albears, there he is. Look at that guy. Look at this big sucker. Now this is an exclusive model. You can only get it from the Dungeons and Dragons monster paint set. Gale Force 9 knocked it out of the park with this sculpt. 
I've said countless times to friends about this release that this is probably my favorite model I've ever had an opportunity to paint of all time, and I'm not exaggerating here. Look at this dynamic pose trudging through the forest, looking like he's ready to attack a dungeon raiding party. It's a beautiful model. All of those feathers are great for dry brushing. We'll learn a little bit more about that when we talk about the brush set. It's almost worth buying the monster set just to get this model. The paints are fantastic, but this model is something truly special. Let's take one more look at the ferocious owlbear. A wise man once said that nobody knows the exact origins of the owlbear, but one thing's for sure, the wizard that conjured him up is no longer alive. Now, if you'd like to see how I painted my owlbear miniature, be sure to check out our How to Paint series of videos on YouTube. You can get the Dungeons & Dragons, Marvelous Pigments, Monster Paint Set, The Adventure Set, and Brush Set in store soon, or at www.thearmypainter.com. Be sure to share your painting pictures and videos with us on Facebook and Instagram at The Army Painter.